What's going on guys? So in this video, I want to share one of the most profound lessons that I have ever learned. Uh, initially, I learned it from my business coach, Ian Lubers, uh, who really helped me understand this concept. And what I'm about to share is why somebody like Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk, they're making billions of dollars a day in value and why maybe somebody like you is not. Right? And, and at the end of the day, what it comes down to is where are you spending your time? Right? Time is all we have. Time is far more valuable than money. And if you are, you know, I've talked, I talk to clients all the time and, and uh, business owners all the time that are making millions of dollars per year, but they have no time, they have no freedom and they're just soulless. And so, you know, this video is for those of you that understand that time is far more valuable than money. And my goal with this video is to really raise your awareness about where is your time going? And then how can you better leverage your time to create massive impact for your business and for your legacy? All right, so let's dive right in. So this is a very simple formula to calculate your current hourly rate. And so I've done this before. Uh, you know, we've worked in, in our company with people f that are freelancers all the way up to billion dollar brands, right? And so uh, I did this exercise one time with a freelancer who had just quit his job and turns out that his, his hourly rate, what he was making in the business was less than what he would be making as a cashier uh, at McDonald's. And so that was a, a powerful wake up call for this guy. Um, and so I wanted to just dive into this formula real quick. All right. So let's say that you are making, I don't know, 500 K to a million dollars per year, and you're paying yourself a $10,000 per month salary. Okay. And then let's say you're like most people, you're working full time, which we let's be real full time is never 40 hours um, it's probably more like 60 70 but let's say it's 50 hours a week which is 200 hours a month all right so if you are paying yourself ten thousand dollars a month you're working 200 or 200 hours per month your hourly rate is fifty dollars per hour okay so you know I'm not saying that's high or low but if you're working in corporate in the corporate world uh, you know you spend a few years in that, you're, you're definitely going to be making at least $50 per hour, right? So, you know, I'm, I'm assuming that if you started your business, it was probably to make far more than $50 per hour, right? And so I just wanted to share this exercise so that you can plug in your own numbers and, uh, you know, in the comments, let us know what is your current hourly rate? You know, we're not going to judge you. We're going to help you level it up, all right? So this is the formula, all right? So next is... Well, what, what should you be spending your time on in order to increase that earnings per hour, right? Because everybody wants to make more money by working less, right? And to many, that sounds like a pipe dream or some, you know, internet guru promise, but it's very real. And next, I want to dive in to how you can do that. But first, I want to share a quote from my boy Naval Ravikant, who is a very successful... Um, investor and entrepreneur, founder of AngelList, angel investor, all that good stuff. And so he has this quote, set and enforce an aspirational hourly rate. If fixing a problem will save less than your hourly rate, ignore it. If outsourcing a task will cost less than your hourly rate, outsource it. All right. So Naval, in this quote, it's all about gaining leverage right? Because if you are, let's say you're running a digital agency, like many of our clients, you know, maybe you're selling advertising or um, Facebook ads or PPC, whatever it is. Um, chances are you're spending your time on low dollar per hour tasks, right? You're answering client emails. You are getting caught up in the weeds. You are interviewing low level hires. And that is that should be outsourced, just like Naval was saying. So when it comes to figuring out where should you actually spend your time, there's, there's really three things that you want to think about, all right? So when it comes down to figuring out what to spend your time on, you're either going to do a task, you're going to delegate a task, and you're going to delete a task, 
Okay, so if your goal is to earn more money by working less, then you should be delegating and deleting as much as possible. Okay, and so something that my mentor Ian taught me was that every task that you perform has a dollar per hour rate. Okay, so let's say that you are setting up a new sales funnel, right? Well, there's, there's two parts of that, right? One is defining the strategy for the sales funnel. That is absolutely a thousand dollar plus per hour task. So as a business owner, if you want to create massive leverage, you should be spending more of your time on those types of tasks, right? However, actually implementing the sales funnel, you know, setting up the automation, setting up the email sequences, setting up the landing pages, that is less than a $1,000 per hour task. However, it's bringing value, right? So you don't want to delete it, you want to delegate it, okay? So this is just a very simple framework and matrix for you to think about, all right, like Naval said, what's my aspirational hourly rate, okay? So let's say you're currently making $50 per hour and your aspirational hourly rate is $5,000 per hour. So sticking to that is, is going to be the difference between you going from, you know, you doubling and tripling your business while working less versus doubling your business through sheer hard work and labor, right? And so let, let's go through another example, right? And so something that I've been struggling with recently um, because we took on a, a design client after not taking one on for a while. And so I've been ending up stuck on a lot of uh, client calls, right? And so for me, absolutely, I need to delegate that as soon as possible, right? Because talking to a client, that is definitely not a thousand dollar per hour, per hour task. It's probably more something more like $250, maybe even $50 per hour, right? And so this simple exercise is going to provide a lot of awareness for where you should be spending your time. Because again, if you are making millions of dollars a year, but you have no time, you have no freedom, and you're essentially a slave to the business. And I've been there, my clients have been there, it's not why we started our company, right? It's not why we started. Because again, if you could be making over $50 an hour working in corporate America or you know, a corporate desk job, then you really need to go through this process and identify where should you be spending your time, what should I be doing, what should I be delegating, and what should I be deleting, all right? So, this, I hope, provided you with a little bit of awareness around where's your time going, where it should be going, and how you can start leveling up your hourly rate to achieve far more leverage, which will allow you to earn more by working less. All right? So I hope this was valuable. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, I have some resources in the comments below that will help you actually implement this inside your business. So thanks for tuning in.